in this video I'm going to go show um, how to resolve the situation where you're trying to mount a camera in a location uh, for live viewing of camera footage where you don't have broadband automatically in that location. So there's two scenarios I'm going to cover here in terms of how we can get broadband to that location and then I'm going to cover a few topics about how you can power the camera in the remote location and uh, how you can actually have multiple cameras in that location. Um, so I'm just going to start off, I'm going to give a scenario, it might be, it'll be reasonably typical. So we have a house that has a broadband connection and fiber optic good connection and we have a shed that's about one kilometer away. It could be a farm shed, industrial unit, something like that and we want to be able to monitor uh, the cameras in that location. So how are we going to get, so the first topic I'm going to discuss and, and, and resolve is how are we going to send a broadband signal to that shed. Option number one is we come along and we use bridges. Now bridges are made up of these ubiquity units here, basically M2s. They have a range of about two kilometers. We come along, we pre-configure them so that um, when they're plugged in they'll work automatically because we've addressed them to match each other. So what we have here is we have the first ubiquity unit here, the second one there. One will act as a sender, one will act as a receiver. So on the sender side what we do is we run a LAN cable, similar to these LAN cables here, this is a very short one, and we'd run it directly from the switch or LAN line router in our house, and we'd run it directly over to the LAN connection here. And what it's going to do is, it's going to take in a broadband signal here, coming directly from the router in our house, and I'm going to grab the next LAN connection, and I'm going to run it directly from here, from the PoE output, and run it into the base uh, LAN uh, connection on the unit here itself. So I just have this unit here open already. You can see there's a little LAN port. So this ubiquity unit now, it's powered via the PoE switch and it's also got the broadband in it because it's been fed in directly from the router and back out via this cable. So now all of a sudden we have a link that's capable of sending a broadband signal up to about two kilometers or so and two kilometers away mounted on the side of the shed what we will have is this ubiquity unit It'll be powered again directly off the PoE switch that came with the ubiquity unit. And I'm just going to use my cables here so we know how this is set up. So what will happen here is we'll take this cable here directly off of here and we run it down as far as the PoE port on the ubiquity unit because the ubiquity unit PoE switch here, our injector here, what it's doing is it's both powering and taking the signal out. And now in the LAN port that's here, we actually have a broadband signal that's been fed wirelessly from your house, the two kilometers to the second ubiquity unit. Now, if you don't have a residence that's within the two kilometers, just has a line of sight, the other alternative would be to come along and use something like this, which is a 4G router. So with this, you just mount it in the building, you put in a SIM card, you pay three or whatever your network supplier is, 10 or 20 euros uh, per month, and all of a sudden you have broadband connection which you can use for connecting onto your camera. So the big advantage of the bridge over this is, number one, sometimes it's capable of higher speeds, and the second thing about it is there's no running cost with it. You're just running it directly off your router as if it's another port within your own uh, house coming off of your router, okay? So that's the two ways you can actually get the broadband signal as far as the building. Now, when you get to the building itself here, and you want to power the first camera, well, I'll just show you the simplest way of doing it. You grab a LAN connection cable here, you run it directly out of the LAN port, and you run it straight over as far as the camera, and that will run a data signal into it. And then you just get it at a 12 volt, two amp power unit, for instance, and you power the camera directly with it, okay? So that's one way of doing it. You could do exactly the same thing coming off of your 4G router, where you just use one of the free ports, run it directly over, power the camera, have a power unit with it, okay? Another way of doing it would be to use yet another PoE injector at this point in time. So what you'd actually do here is, um, you take the signal coming out of the router here, and you run it into either a four-way uh, PoE switch here. So you just run it into the back of the PoE switch here, and all of a sudden now, the LAN cable that comes out of here, I'm just gonna recycle this LAN cable here. The LAN cable coming out of here, going over to the camera, will, have 
an ability to bring back the picture, but it also runs the power into the camera so that the camera signal is now being run back in and it's on the web effectively in terms of if we address the IP address on this, we're able to access it directly. Now the big, the other big advantage of using IP cameras along with a POE switch like this is that we can obviously run another cable and run it directly um, here into the PTZ that's above me there again. Again, the IP address on it is directly um, addressable, so we don't even need an NVR or something like that. And now we have multiple cameras in the second location running off a single POE switch. So, you know, so I, I don't want to go into any more depth on it because I, I don't want to confuse people, but just think about it here. Two choices on how to get broadband there. A bridge if you're within two kilometers, or if you're in an area that has 4G signal, you could just use a 4G router. And in terms of powering the cameras, you could use a power unit and um, a LAN cable to connect it back to the router, or you could use a PoE switch, which will allow you to power and bring the data via a single cable, and also allows you to have multiple cameras set up on it. So hopefully that gives you a good overview. Of it. There's a lot more videos within our range that'll explain other things that we're covering, but that's a pretty important topic now that hopefully will bring a little bit of light to the situation for our customers.